Friday the 24th. Um, you'll see I don't have my sling on. That's just because I've been wearing it all day. Running around, doing errands. <sighs> you know, this arm's feeling okay as long as I don't move it too much. But because I've been driving around and running errands, this arm's getting a little tired today. But anyway, I was feeling tired. I found out I have to have an MRI. I was kind of discouraged. And of course, this arm still hurts. I stopped, made my last stop to pick up my mail on the way home, and what do you know? I got a box from Lou Jean. This is my very first Happy Mail box, Lou Jean. Thank you. Make me want to cry. Thank you very much. I needed this today. <clears throat> anyway, she sent me this really great box. It says Uptown Tea Imports. And at first I thought... I didn't order any tea. I like tea. I like a glass of wine now and then too, but I love tea. I drink it almost every evening, but I didn't order tea, and then I realized it was a box from Lou Jean. The first thing when I open the box is a nice note, which I actually haven't opened yet. Let's see. <laughs> it's an American greetings card. It's the company I work for. Oh, cute. That's a cute card. I think that picture's going to have to go in a journal somewhere. Thank you, Lugene. It's a very nice note. So, <clears throat> she thanks me for sending her the journal. You did buy it off of Etsy, you know. And I know I included a bunch of extra goodies and that fun paper to make some flowers out of. So, I do, I do hope you enjoy it very much. But yes, thank you for the card and the goodies. And the first thing when I open it, of course, my, uh, my first favorite thing is the tissue paper. I love leaf or feather shapes. They show up in a lot of my artwork. And, of course, it's blue and green, my two favorite colors. So, uh, yeah, got to love that. <clears throat> and you know it's not too heavy because I'm lifting it up with this hand, so otherwise it, I wouldn't be able to do that. But it is stuffed full, and it is stuffed full of wonderful fabulousness. I'm going to save the tissue. That's going to get used for sure in an art journal or something. Thank you so much. And you know, I was just thinking about buying some more fibers for book binding. Of course, when my shoulder's better, one of the things I can't do right now is book binding too much because I can't put too much weight on this shoulder. Um, but I was going to buy some fibers off of Etsy and look what she sent me. Do you have ESP or something? How did you know that? Um, these are wonderful. I love these recycled sari silks. They're wonderful not only to knit with, which I love to do, and I'm going to have to do a tutorial on that. I was thinking about branching out a little bit anyway. Um, I was thinking they might be fun to embroider with, which I also do. Um, but they're great to bind books with and use um, on, along the spines and even as a closure. I love them. So thank you, Lou Jean. I got a whole hank of them. Um, <clears throat> I was watching a video the other day. And I, it's one of the newer artists I've been watching, and I don't remember her name, but she was making flowers out of doilies. And guess what Lou Jean sent me? <laughs> Not that I, I have a lot of doilies. I love them. They're all different. These I don't have any like this. Um, and I also have a bunch of brooches, so I was thinking I might make some of my special friends some little flowers. But maybe you all remember the video, but she starts with a round circle of paper. And then she takes four doilies and she hot glues them into this kind of a shape. And she glues them, you know, all next to each other around in a circle. And then in the center she puts some tulle or some feathers and then a brooch. And on the back she puts one more doily. Um, I was thinking about trying that anyway. I wasn't sure I actually had enough of the same size doilies to try that. I got some now. Thank you, Lou Jean. And these are beautiful. They look handmade. I know how to crochet. There's a lot of work in these. I'm going to have to make sure I do something special with them, like those flowers or something. They're great. 
She also sent me, I do also sew, and I love fabric scraps, and I love sewing and quilting, and the journal I, that she bought um, for me that I sent her was done out of fabric scraps, and she sent me, look what she sent me. There's all kind of wonderful fabric strips. Different kinds. These are all batik prints too, which is one of my favorites. Again, I don't know how you did, did you knew that, um, but I love I love batik prints. And this is, by the way, the as far as I can lift my arm, and that's an improvement over earlier this week. Um, <clears throat> and that kind of hurts to do. And I was able to actually put my hair up in a ponytail by myself. That's an improvement. Still can't do my bra by myself. Probably too much information for y'all, but anyway, look at this one. Love that one. So I don't know how you knew that I like batik prints, um, but I love them. They're some of my favorites. So I'm gonna definitely have to use these in on a journal cover because these are great. I was even thinking because I've been watching some videos where they make collage papers with fabric and paper, and they glue some fabric on there. And I'm thinking some of these might be nice on some of that. So thank you, Lou Jean. I appreciate it. You're very sweet. You didn't have to do that. Um, I love to share. I love to send um, mail art and happy mail and all those sort of things. Um, I do have a fairly large stash of paper napkins. Um, you know, when you buy a paper napkin design that you like, you have to get, you know, 16 of them or something. Um, and I usually love the design, but I usually don't want to use it more than a couple of times. So that means I have a lot of napkins left over. So anybody who wants to do a paper napkin trade or, you know, something else, let me know. I'm always up for that. You can um, instant message me or you can leave your email address in the comments below and I will email you and we will exchange addresses and I have no problem with that. Um... But this is just the cheer up I needed today, Lou Jean. Thank you. I got my x-ray results today and they weren't great. So I, I needed this pick-me-up. Thank you very much. And um, you all are very sweet. And um, I am going to continue to do as much art as I can. Um, and hopefully I'll be back up to 100% soon. Um, I'll keep you all posted. And uh, we'll see what happens. All right. I'll see you later. Bye.